Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Today I have layout six for how to kill a kit with style. So this is a paper issues challenge. You'll see the list in a minute, but we were given a list of supplies and we just had to pick seven out of the list. As you can see, I ended up with seven. So that was super fun. I'm starting out with um, one of the background papers and then I just pulled out all the scraps. I want to see how many scraps I can layer up uh, on this page. I'm really trying not to cut into a 12 by 12 yet for some pieces. So I'm just trying to stretch the scraps I have um, to make them look like bigger pieces so that's how I'm starting the pieces or the the grab five elements I went with was hand journaling layers something metal because I already have in my mind I'm gonna bring in some of those brads something blue I know I want to pull in some of the blue elements from this kit I don't think I've pulled in any blue yet I've done some of the green um, so I thought that would be a fun thing to try and pull in um, I'm also saying circles but that's kind of the same as the brads the brads is my circular element um, so that kind of is a two for one <laughs> I'm pulling in some ephemera that comes in the kit and I'm also going to be fussy cutting so you'll see that in a minute I'm starting off by just layering up these pieces however they'll fit on the page <laughs> I have a few scraps of this gingham so I'm going to try and stretch it across uh, vertically I already stretched that one scrap across horizontally to kind of make them look like larger pieces than they are um, so I'm just me going to measure that scrap so I can cut this other scrap to the same size so that together it'll look like one big piece I think for a minute I might try this plaid but the scrap was just the wrong size to try and fake that <laughs> so I end up doing this gingham um, you'll see me cut that down in a minute so it looks like it's the same piece of paper as the other one and I absolutely love this pocket card you you guys have seen this on a few of the other pages me trying to incorporate it it makes it on this one I love it this I love you like biscuits and gravy I think that is so cute this photo is Billy's one year birthday um, he just turned eight, you guys. June 1st, he turned eight. I can't believe it. So doing this picture of him when he turned one was just like, <laughs> blew my mind. I forgot how black his nose used to be because his, his nose is kind of pink now and he's, you know, he's graying out a little bit. So seeing him and he's no gray, black nose, it's just like, oh, look at little Billy. He's so cute. This was when he was still in the guide dog program too. <laughs> So I'm just cutting down this piece. You'll see me uh, piece that together. I have all my ephemera laid out on the left. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to start pulling from. I just know I want to pull in some of the blue. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get some of this stu stuff stuck down. <clears throat> There we go. So I kind of already know that the layers are going to be taken care of as one of the elements just with all these different paper layers. I really liked this little uh, like ribbon. It said number one on it, but I also have this circular piece that says love and I thought it was looked really, really cute layered over the banner because he, he turned one year old, but having something that said number one, I didn't think really you know, <laughs> meant the same thing, but I love the dimension that layering up this chipboard gives. So having this circular love layered on top of the ribbon, I think that looks really cool. So that's going to be how I use that piece. Again, I, that helps me bring in the circles as well. <clears throat> I know I want a little bit of journaling on this page because I know I want to do hand journaling. That was also one of the grab five elements. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to pull that in yet though. These birds have some blue on them so I know for sure I'm going to try and pull some of them in. <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out how. <laughs> because right now it's kind of like I could put birds on the page it coordinates with the collection that's really all you need to use something but I kind of want it to connect to the story somehow so it took me a little bit to kind of figure out how I was um, gonna make that work uh, but it brought that blue in from the ribbon I want blue in three separate areas I had this scrap of this blue from one of the crepe paper collections I can't remember which one it was but it was the perfect shade of blue to go with the other blue in this collections. And there's no blue in the, the 12 by 12s, there's some green, but I really wanted a blue paper element to go with these ephemera pieces. So I thought this little triangle pattern was so perfect. So I just cut off a little piece. I wanted to save that paper in case I needed to pull in some blue pattern paper on any other pages. 
but I cut a little zigzag border punch and that's going to go along the bottom of the page. I really hope, I think that helps pull in and introduce that blue that I'm going to be pulling in elsewhere because right now it just kind of looks odd having some of the blue ephemera and there's no blue anywhere else. <laughs> so that already helped a lot. I thought I would pull in one of these black tags. I'm really loving pulling in these chalkboard tags um, with this collection. Especially because all these pattern papers, I mean, they are like all like cream and white or black and white and they can read really busy all next to each other. So having this solid black, I think really helps. You saw me fussy cut that star. So that's my fussy cut element. It's also blue. So I wanted to see if I could pull that in. And then the proportion of that pocket card just wasn't working for me. So I decided I would just trim it down to the actual sentiment. And I think that works a lot better on the page. I wanted to make sure I for sure got that on the page because I thought that was just the perfect thing to have on this page of Billy. <laughs> So I'm trying to figure out how to tuck this star in, but I really like the idea uh, as, of having it opposite of that ribbon, that love ribbon. So I'm trying to figure out how to keep it on that diagonal. Um, and I am liking it here, so I think that's where it ends up staying. I'm just trying to find a few pieces to layer up with it. It was looking a little odd by itself. So I just took a few of the stickers and layered them up, added a few banner pieces, and I like how that looks as well. I have a surprising amount of stickers left. I've been doing okay on the die cuts, uh, and the chipboard, but the planner sheet and the sticker sheet I need to do better with. So I'm trying to make sure I pull in a little bit um, on every page going forward. So that little cluster of embellishments kind of helped me use up a few things here and there. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do my journaling. I was trying to figure out how I was going to do journaling on this page, but it's a striped paper. It has lines on it, you guys. So I decided I was just going to do my journaling up the side. It's already going to be straight. There's nothing over there. So I figured that made sense. It's kind of talking about how it's really bittersweet celebrating Billy's first birthday because at this point, I'm just his trainer. I'm not his owner. And as much as you're a trainer and when I first got him I'm like you're not his mom you're not his mom you're not his mom you're his trainer like don't get too attached but you guys I got him when he was seven weeks old I raised him and it's really really hard to think that he he's not mine and he never was and I knew this from the beginning but it was really really hard for me to know at some point I have to give him back and he's going to go help someone who needs him he was in the guide dog foundation for the blind someone else needed him more than me I understood this um, but after they get past that one year, that's when they can be called, they call it IFT, in for training, and that's when they go, sorry, I'm getting emotional, legit, right now, even knowing I got him back. Whew, calm down, Kelsey. So they go to New York, which is where headquarters is for their advanced training, and that's when they get paired with a person. Um, so, so his one year birthday was super emotional for me because yes, he's one year, it's celebrating, he's becoming a big boy. Um, but it also signifies that any at any time I could receive the email saying that he is called in for training. So it was very bittersweet. And this is kind of where I decide the birds work out because there's a big bird and a little bird. I'm kind of like, you know, what? it's kind of like he's leaving the nest. And that's kind of what I'm rolling with. So that's how I incorporated the birds on the page, even though that's not explicit in my mind. That's what they signify. Uh, so you'll see me end up pulling those back in. I really wanted to get some more blue ephemera on the page. And I thought that was kind of the perfect symbolic element. Um, here I go with the brads. I wanted to make sure I did not forget the brads because that was my metal element. So I'm pulling in a few of them. Um, I think I pull in a blue one, a few blue ones, and then a few smaller ones. Um, but I wanted to make sure to get a, a, quite a few brads on here because I haven't used the brads as much as I thought I, I would have either. So I wanted to get a good bit of them on here. Um, but you just saw with that journaling, with it going up the side, it kind of got lost. So I did pull in some washi. Uh, just to draw your attention to that area and then that's where I decide to go in with my stitching So again, I'm just doing cross stitching. I've decided it's my thing this month I don't know why but I just think it goes so well with this collection So um, that's where I'm placing it on this page just to draw your attention to the journaling and gives a little bit of interest over there <laughs> I'm just calling this uh, one year old again. I'm using the uh, root beer float thickers 
and just thought it was a perfect kind of size to fit down there. I didn't want it too complicated. It's his one year birthday, you know. <laughs> I've been super unoriginal with my titles so far this month. Um, but here I bring in the birds. I think about splitting them up like this and having them look like they're kind of flying across the page. Um, but that really throws off my visual triangle. It adds four areas of color instead of three areas of blue and it was messing with me. So I decided to put them down in this corner that adds a really good visual triangle. It adds that blue in three specific spots. Um, and I really like how they end up looking layered. And I really wanted these birds together, especially after I realized how I wanted to symbolically use them. So I do end up popping the little one up on some foam so it has some dimension uh, from the back one. I didn't want it to look like it was one die cut piece. I wanted you to be able to tell that they were two separate pieces layered because I think that adds a lot of dimension, especially because I have the layered chipboard. I wanted something else that was kind of dimensional, even though the brads are a little dimensional as well. Um, and then the washi on this cream, it, it's adding uh, like an extra creamy effect. Um, and I just wanted that pulled into one other area because it was looking weird that that washi was only on the left, even though the gingham pattern paper is around the photo. So I just tore the washi again and added two other little areas. So it kind of went together. And then again, I'm with this sticker sheet. This sticker was totally unnecessary. <laughs> But I'm kind of like made myself use it. I might end up taking it off. I think it kind of distracts the eye. I might take it off. Um, but I just wanted an excuse to use one more sticker because I feel like I'm not doing a good enough uh, job with the sticker sheet. But there you can see some of the little layery embellishments. I really love how this one turned out. I'm glad I got this memory scrapped. This is going backwards. So this is my album going backwards. Um, so you'll see Billy getting younger and younger <laughs> in that album. Um, but thanks guys for watching. Make sure you check everybody else out. Bye.